My name is Holly Coles from Crooked Rooster Farm, and I've been a breeder for 31 years now. So a Colt Retriever is a mix between a Border Collie and a Golden Retriever. A Colt Retriever is a very sensitive dog, and they have an uncanny ability to problem solve, but yet they are so trainable. We have different Colt Retrievers out there that are migraine alert dogs, and some are blood sugar alert dogs, panic attack, post-traumatic stress and anxiety disorder, and then the bullseye that encompasses autism, um, especially. And that's really the realm that we were breeding them for at first. So a Border Collie is very, very energetic. They're very smart. They're the top of the list as far as all of the dog breeds for intelligence. They are very, very high energy. Their problem solving ability is incredible and they need to have a job. The Golden Retriever is the caregiver and they're very, very loving and intuitive and gentle. So in taking the combination of the two, it mellows the qualities in each. It really matters who you pair with who as well because you need the temperament from both mom and dad. You can't just have a sweet, loving, amazing golden retriever and then breed her to a border collie that is just ramped and over the top energy-wise because you're going to get uh, puppies that aren't going to make the best colt retriever in my opinion. The colt retrievers are in a really loving, safe, wonderful environment and we start out from the minute they're born doing early neurological stimulation because there is there's developmental windows that are opening and closing at different days and weeks of age. And we have the ability to, with this early neurological stimulation and socializing, to kind of part their psyche and reach in and manipulate it, so to speak, but in a good way for who they're gonna be. From sound sensitizing to problem solving to different stressors that stress them, but don't um, stress them too far. It's a long process to match the right dog with the right person. And it takes a lot of time, and we don't say yes to ev everybody. There's a lot of breeders that uh, look for a lot of different qualities in their breeding stock. We want not just size and coat and uh, you know a good bite and all the structure things that we look for. We want to see longevity in a line before we add anybody to our, our breeding program. We want to make sure that they are from not just a healthy structural uh, standpoint and, and point of view, but that they are a long living line as well. There's other things, so you can have intense shyness in a line of dogs or intense aggression. Uh, we do not line breed or inbreed. I, I don't think it works in people, and I really haven't seen it work well in dogs. What makes a Colt Retriever a, a good service dog is that they are always looking at what their person needs. They might be asleep or resting, but they are Johnny on the spot if something changes. You can train them just like you would a normal service dog, kind of task training them, so to speak. But then they have this sixth sense of just knowing when something is going to happen because they're always problem solving on their own and almost evolving in a way. So even when they're in a relaxed state, they are still very, very attentive to what's going on around them with their person, but also what's going on in the room. So that makes them extra gifted when they're with a person and doing a job as a service dog as well. If there is um, a family that has a child on the spectrum, I want to hear about what they need and what they're looking for and what, their, what temperament in a dog would best suit their family. We get to know the puppies really well with all the time that we spend with them. And so I'll usually have one or two puppies in mind. And not everybody has a special needs child. Some people just want a dog, just a buddy. And we have plenty of homes that are like that. I have always loved people and always loved animals. What these dogs do for people is so motivating for me and um, it just makes me get more and more passionate about helping people and seeing what the dogs can do as well. And we're ever learning. I mean, it's a learning process too. Story after story, people call and say, this is the best dog they've ever had and uh, they couldn't imagine life without him. It's almost like the world would be black and white without them.